So just after watching Slag Rovers v Bohemians there at the showgrounds, um, that's a massive three points for Rovers. Um, I believe is the performance of the season so far. Um, fully deserved. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. Um, from start to finish, I thought every single person on the pitch was absolutely phenomenal. Just to mention a few, Johnny Kenny, you know, got two goals. I think he might have got a hat trick as well. Depends on the second goal whether it was an own goal or not. Um, Ryan DeVries as well, absolutely phenomenal today, looking very, very sharp, causing a lot of problems up top. Uh, Bulger as well, centre midfield with Morton. I thought they were, t I thought the two of them were absolutely superb. Uh, Mahan at the back was an absolute rock. Lewis Bangs had a fantastic game, all round fantastic performances, um, and it's what we've it's what we've been lacking the past couple of weeks. Um, you know, with the likes of Buckley being out, I was I was very concerned. I was saying in my uh, season so far review, saying if we lose Buckley or, or Bulger, we're in serious problem. We're in serious trouble, and um, it showed that in the last couple of games when Buckley has been missing, but. Um, I thought today, even though Buckley was still out, it's just absolutely phenomenal. I think Shane Blaney had a decent enough game at centre half. Um, Georgie Kelly, you know, coming up against Mahan and Blaney was always going to be difficult for the two of them, but I thought he managed them very well. Um, I'm going to give credit to Bowes. I don't think the scoreline reflects fully on how they performed. I thought they caused a lot of problems in the first half. I thought they played very well. Just unlucky, not really creating anything. Um, anything that that would worry McGinty to be honest. Um, second half as well, I thought they started off the better team, and look, they got a goal with Georgie Kelly ruled offside, but um, and he was unlucky as well. Georgie Kelly had a couple of good chances as well to to put in the back of the net, and lucky didn't get to do it. McGinty pulled off some absolutely fantastic saves. Um, so I thought Bohemians to be fair to them, they played quite well. Had the ball when when they had the ball, they were playing playing quite well, moving the ball. Um moving the ball quickly and I found that really impressive especially when they went 2-3-0 down and um, they were still playing and to be fair to them you got to give credit to them um, but overall I thought we deserved the three points absolutely fantastic Johnny Kenny um, I rave about him I think every time I'm doing a fan reaction he's just absolutely superb for a young age of 18 as well just finished his leaving there a couple of weeks ago coming in scoring a scoring a hat-trick for Rovers at home against Bohemians is absolutely superb um, and it's refreshing now for us as well because it's been very concerning the past couple of weeks with the results, and um, you know we're very we're very wary of Bowes because they're on a, they were starting to come into form as well, so we knew it was going to be a very difficult game. But I thought fully we deserved the three points, and we move on to next week. Yeah, all right, lads. Uh, just a quick reaction to the game that's just finished there from the showgrounds. It finished Snuggle four balls nil. Very disappointing. Uh, very humbling defeat to take. Like, um, I thought we never got going in the game. Uh, Slingo started the better, and they were great value for the two goals coming up to 35 minutes. Uh, we never had a sniff. Talking the last 10 minutes of the first half, we kind of grew into the game a bit more, but we no clear cut chances. Going into half time 2 0, certainly not game over. But we thought Keaton Long sort of overtunk the game a little bit, if that's a word. Uh, yeah, and kind of making the defensive substitutions, I thought, keep it simple, make the midfield, you know, take Bucko off, put Levinson on to me, that seemed a clear substitution to make, and going into the second half, I think it cost us, like, but sure, you know, isn't hindsight a great thing, like, to be able to say that his substitutions cost us, like, so I think it's not the time to jump on his back by any means, um, and yeah, then we were punished for the fourth, I think ultimately, there's no positives to take from tonight. I don't think we should really take anything from tonight, to be honest with you. We are beaten by the better team on the night. I think just scratch this off. Go into Pats next week. Start from scratch. Go out, beat Pats next week. Hopefully then, go into Europe on a high, get a good run of form. Uh, as I said, I think it's by no means should we criticise our players tonight. Like I think... Um, you know, let's just mark it off as an off now. Because they've been superb for the last couple of weeks. And as we've seen, as we've seen the first couple of weeks of the season, you know, getting on players' backs doesn't do much good. So, yeah, like, um, it's, it's going to be a tough one to take for the next couple of days. But, okay, as I said, 
that could all be repaired next week with a win against Pats and then you know maybe a win in Europe with a few Bowes fans in Lansdowne Road. <laughs> Cheers. Alright yeah, everyone, Keith asked me to do the analysis for the one all draw last night in Tally between Shamrock Rovers and Drata. Um it was a good game, I was at myself, I was lucky four hundred and eighty three days between the last time I was in Tala and last night, so I was happy to be back in last night. It was great atmosphere all around from all the Rovers support in the stadium and um it was just it was a poor game but Rovers are done what we've done a lot this season and played really really well in the first half and then in the second half it's a completely different side. Um, the first penalty was scored in the 19th minute by Graham Book. Um, he put it to the keeper's left, Adamusu's left, Adamusu dive right. Um, whether it was a penalty or not, it was a dive in my opinion. But listen, we've all seen them being given before. Um, Ralph's played really well to the end of the first half. Could have got a few more, had a few good chances. Drottler had a few good chances in the first half down our end. But as soon as the second half started, it was like a completely different rover, so it, we couldn't put our chances away as we have like as we have been for a lot of this season. Um, I don't know what time they got that penalty as someone can say in the comments below, but uh, it wasn't a penalty either. I don't know whether it was Marky or Doyle, whoever it was, who dribbled past our defenders, blatantly dived as well, but I think McLaughlin was more making up for for the decision he made in the first half with the Rovers penalty, so penalty was given, and the exact same place, Chris Lyons put the penalty, man dive to the right, but overall, good game, very good game, like to be back at, because that was a good bit of atmosphere, Um, I just, just before I finish up here, I just want to say that the officiating in the league over the past few weeks has been appalling. Like from all sets of referees, like I'm not usually one to give out about refs, but for the first time in 16 months, I was back down in Tala last night, and the same referee two years before had atrocious decisions in Tala, and then had the game last night, and there was a certain situation in the second half, I think around the 70th minute, it was just after I dropped Whatever I dropped the equalizer, it was a few minutes after that, uh, up our end because I was in the south stand. And it was either Deegan or the other midfield that kicked Bork on the ground while he was after being tackled and McLaughlin said play on. Now usually that would equate to a yellow card or if the person was already on the yellow, a red and a free kick. But no, McLaughlin just doesn't give them with all. He was a very poor overall on the night. Um, for us in general I think we need to get I know this talk anti Stokes I don't want them near me club but that's what we've believed other people can have their own opinions but we just couldn't take our chances last night it was the 83rd minute or the 84th minute and Gannon played in Gaffney Gaffney hit the post like we all thought it was in hit the post it fell out to Greener Greener literally could have put it away with the first touch took two, two or three touches all defenders he put it, then pass back, all defenders ran and passed back to Bork, who then proceeded to take another five or six touches, who passed it. When he could, he had all the defenders filled after the second touch, he could have just put it away after that. And then he set it back from Andrew, who sliced it right. Like, if we really, look, I know we're still joint top, even though we're in this row of results, but, like, if we really want to push on, look, I know people are putting all their eggs in one basket over Richie Towell, if we really want to progress, we need to get in the striker that has confidence. Now, that's not knocking the lads of Gaffney Green, the likes of Gaffney Green or Bork, but we need a striker in that has confidence in front of goal because it was seemed to me last night when Green took all them touches, it was like he wasn't confident to put the ball away. He was afraid that he's going to put it away. But overall, a good game. Great to be back in the stadiums. Now, they, I won't be back in for Dundalk, but hopefully next month I'll be back in again for another game. But, Great to be back in the stadiums, great, uh, all right game of football to watch, great atmosphere and hopefully we'll push on next week. Richie Tell will be his, first day, his debut for the club against his old club Dundalk and hopefully we can push on and get a win because they're in par form and Chris Shields left now so hopefully we can push on and beat them next week but we need to get in a striker that can score. Hello there. 
Uh, full time there in Tala. One hour with Jordan and uh, Rovers. Look at if you give me a draw there against Rovers or win, I would have bit your hand off. You know what a result there for us tonight. Um, look, first half. You know, no one near. I think we were just, you know, we were just a poor team that game there first half. Robbers had so many chances then the game there, you know, with the likes of uh, Graham Buck there, uh, Aaron Green, a few other players there in the team. Um, I think we were, we, were, we were good that second half as well. We got a penalty there from Chris Lyons, which was brilliant to make a one all. They had a they had a penalty in the first half there as well from uh, from Graham Buck. You know, it's obviously not the not the same team as last year. You know, they won the league. You know, they're missing Jack Bond and and uh, McInnes there from last year, but. Still look, there's still a point for a title there against with Sligo and Pats, and we're still we're still looking to stay up, which I think, to be honest, it's, it's obvious now. Um, looking at us now for half, I think it's pretty much obvious now. Uh, I think it's going to be long for now, Walford to to go down. Um, you know, look, it's a, it's a great result there. You know, we've got Pats, we we got for halves now. Sorry, uh, next week. You know, it's going to be a good game there against us, again them against us. You know, we drew them first game. We beat them in the last game there for Massey free kick last minute. So um look if we can just do what we can do now in all the other games now, even before the break though, we were brilliant before the break. Just let's see if we get on there. That's all it matters, you know. If we can still play the how we did there, you know, the four wins in a row there with Longford, Finhaps and and uh and Pats and 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 uh, just sorry, hold on, who else? I can't think of who else. <laughs> well, it's been a long time there, but still look we'll we'll, we'll go ahead there, we'll, we'll look forward to improving. Look, and you know, people are saying we're gonna to get to Europe. I don't believe that. Just stay up. That's all that's all the big thing to me is to stay up there and we'll see how we get on. So yeah, looking forward to next week.